Esto no se ve. No se veía anteriormente antes que Rosy. Before Rosy got married, uno ve, no veía nunca jamás un par de tenis para hacer ejercicio en su vida. But now that she's married and her husband is very sporty, athletic guy, ahora sí, porque anteriormente ni un chicharo se disparaba de ejercicio aquí. Ahora está cambiando la cosa. Thank God, because. ¿Cómo? Everybody makes fun of me because my tennis shoes are open in the back. They're mules. Those aren't tennis shoes, babe. Yes, they are. They're fashionable tennis shoes. Let's go. Let's film. Make no more fun of my unathletic abilities. Welcome back to Planet Rosemary. Thanks for watching the show, for asking questions. I am super happy to be back. Déjame decirte que esta semana es de trabajo. La semana de octubre 3, el lunes, empieza con la luna en Capricornio. That means work. Organización, paying bills, responsabilidad, goal-oriented. This is the week to get the work done, especially Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, la luna está en acuario, ya te sientes un poquito más con deseo de andar con, en grupos, de ir a fiesta, pero también es una luna bastante responsable. Y entonces, viernes, sábado y domingo, la luna en Pisces. Sentimental, pensando en el pasado, quieres ir a la playa, you want to be somewhere where there's water, it's a very romantic moon. So, this week, oh my God, October 7th, Friday, the moon in Aquarius and it's Nikki's birthday. Nikki Poo, my nephew. Wow, time goes by so fast. But with that moon in Aquarius, Nikki, you're going to have a really good year. It's going to be a year full of political ambitions. Y aunque eres jovencito, you're going to be very publicly known this year because that's what Aquarius brings. Now, I'm going to talk to you because this is the whole week. Everybody's talking about fashion. Fashion this, fashion that, the colors here, the colors there. And we forget that because the fall is here, it doesn't mean we have to change all our bright, pretty summer colors. Because as a matter of fact, Fashion Week says that this year, the crayon colors, the bright blue, the bright yellow, the red, the orange, they're all going to be mixed with the grays, the browns, and the black. And that's how we're going to spend fall and winter. So let me tell you, according to your sign, what color you should be wearing. This is your lucky color. So if you have something important, match that black with this touch of the color that I'm going to give you. Aries, the red, the color of fire and excitement. Taurus, since you're so concerned about money, wear green. That is your lucky color. Gemini, the color of brightness, yellow, very bright yellow. Mix it with whatever you want. Grab a yellow purse if you're a woman. You're all dressed in one color. That's going to bring you luck. And cancers, of course, the color of the moon, white and silver. Those are our colors. So winter white, vamos a tener que usar para our next season. Leo, gold. Tú sabes que los Leo tienen que usar es if you're a man and you have an important meeting, wear a gold tie or gold cufflinks or a gold watch. Virgos, you have to wear the navy blue, the gray, those earth tones are the ones that give you luck. Libra, the lavender and the pink. La Librana because it's the color of romance. Scorpio, this year your color is burgundy and it's a fashionable color so you're going to be able to wear a lot of that. Scorpio, the burgundy. The Sagittarius, I always thought Sagittarius color was red. And I've been reading lately that the color for Sagittarius is purple, which is a very spiritual color. And it's also a color that's going to be in season. So wear something purple, man or woman. Capricorn, you know, you have to wear that deep green, the browns, again, the earth tones for Capricorn. Aquarius, that electric blue. That shocking blue color, that's your lucky color, Aquarius. And for Pisces, the water, el turquesa, el morado, el verdecito claro, the tones of the sea, those are your lucky colors. So make sure to be fashionable and astrologically correct this week and for the rest of the year. Me tienes que seguir viendo en Twitter y en Facebook para que te enteres todo lo que está pasando. Because I'm going to be letting you know what's going on and where the moon is y cómo te afecta a ti hoy.